Hey friends, Rob here, just doing a response and review. We get to meet Mitt Romney's garbage men. Obviously, these garbage men work so hard. Sometimes, even in New York, it's freezing at February, 5 degrees in the morning with the wind chill 20 below. I applaud anybody and honor anybody that picks up anyone's garbage. Come on, man. God bless you. The Lord loves you, friends. You know, the reality, friends, is people believe the problem of America really is political, but really it's not political as much as it is spiritual. I don't believe there's a man under the sound of my voice that can solve all of the problems America has because America's problems are not just political. Again, they're spiritual. Friends, we've taken prayer out of school. We've untold tens of millions of abortions. I didn't come on here to dispute, please, whatever. The point I'm trying to make is America was founded upon biblical Christian foundational values, the Bible, God, Jesus Christ, Christianity, etc. And, you know, that's what our forefathers dedicated this land. We've got to once again return, and God will restore America back to greatness once again. We have certainly faltered and fallen away from biblical values. I mean, look at television from 1950 to 1960, 70, 80, 90 to 2012. I mean, it's just degraded. You know, they were all concerned Elvis's pants were a little too tight. Now they're concerned if people have pants on at all. And, and they come on here to bash all this different type of, you know, different, you know, categories and genres of life. But the point I'm trying to make is America has a foundational value of the Bible of Christianity. In fact, in the book of 2 Chronicle in the Old Testament, chapter 7, verse 14, it simply says, If my people, God's people, who are called by his name, will humble themselves and pray, seek God's face, turn from their wicked ways, the Bible says God will hear from heaven and he will heal their land. Friends, we've got to once again see the land of America healed. We've got to see God restore America back to greatness. And it comes one soul at a time, one person at a time. The Bible says in the book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse, For God so loved the world that he gave as a gift his only son, Jesus, that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish but have everlasting life. And you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice, but he desires all to have the assurance and insurance that when we take our last breath, we can and will make having a home, and the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, <clears throat> thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. And if you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Heaven applauds you. Angels are throwing a party. Again, if you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, hit the subscribe button right now. And also under the search Rob would want to have many other Christian ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.